Hello, everybody. This is Malisha with Love for Wife Wellness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Saturday, April the 25th. Can you believe we are already in Saturday already? My goodness. And so, I mean, we're already at, almost at the middle, almost at the end of the month already. It's just unreal how far we have gone this month. I hope everyone is doing good. And, um, you know, with this COVID-19 and the sheltering in place and um, taking care of your health and taking care of your your family and being happy and being uh, having gratitude, even during this horrific time that we are going, that we are um experiencing right now if you know i'm in my um on my pages i'm sharing um this i'm starting a watch party on my personal page and then i'm going to share this to my other page as well let me go to my other page i'm excited to have miss julie hager with us today um We'll start that. I'll go back to, we'll uh, say hi to everybody, Julie. Say hi. Hi. Okay. So um, just a little bit of, um, just a little bit before uh, we get started. Anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Malisha Bailey. I'm a nutritional health coach. I live here in Springfield, Missouri, and I started my health journey from a place of sickness, as a lot of people do. I was sick for many years, and I just wanted to get well. And so I did that by changing my diet. I went to school to learn how to help other people. That's where I met Julie. And so my goal is to help um, as many people as I can. My niche is right now, the women, the people I work with are mainly women um, that have neglected their health, um, taking care of their family, their age parents, their kids, their grandkids. And they woke up and you may have woke up sick with diabetes and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease overweight, not feeling like yourself anymore, and you have been searching for solutions to help you to get back to where you were before. Well, if that's you, I'm the person that can help you, and it's my pleasure to be able to help you. I have... Um, I'm moving my business to online. It's just so amazing with all that's been going on with this COVID. I was already, Julie, working to move my business mostly online. And I know that's basically what you do. I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I really want to move it online because then I can see and greet and talk to other people. Right now, I'm doing an amazing 30-day uh, challenge in a private group called a 30 day Jump Start. It's called Revive, Restore and Rejuvenate. And this has been great. And so I'm excited for that. And I am getting ready to offer up a founder's membership. I'm getting ready to open up a membership. It's gonna be at a very low cost where you can get lots and lots of coaching from me in a membership site. So that is really exciting about that. So I just need to check one more place to make sure that it is live in there. And then we'll be getting ready to get started. I hope everyone has got some questions today uh, for Miss Julie. So um, let me introduce Julie right quick. So Julie is, she graduated from the Institute Integrative Institute of Nutrition the same year I did, but she went on to study functional medicine. I thought about going that route, but I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> so that's why she is here and she went that route. And so she um, is doing amazing, amazing work working with women on their digestive issues. So first, welcome, let's everyone welcome Julie. Um, please post your, post your questions for her because she's going to have amazing, a lot of amazing information. Invite your friends, start watch parties because this is a, a must watch show. So Julie, welcome, welcome to the Sister to Sister Saturday, tell us um, about yourself and how you started your wellness journey, Julie. Thank you first for inviting me. Um, my journey started about four years ago, and I was like you. It was sickness, my own personal sickness, that brought me into getting interested in health coaching and helping other people. My sickness started at 10 years old. And so I had, a, I had over four decades where I had bladder issues, stomach issues, hives, allergies, fatigue, and I just did not feel well for a big part, really most of my life. And what happened is when I was in my early 50s, I had the worst what I call flare ever, meaning I was so sick that I couldn't get out of bed. 
I had no quality of life. Um, I was in a lot of pain. And so it was that that was kind of like my turning point. I think we, you know, I'll get there. That was like, uh, okay, I'm going to do something about it. Because before that, I really hadn't focused that much on my health. And I wasn't a healthy eater and I was into exercise, but I wasn't into um, really self-care or, you know, what I eat or anything. So what I did is I started looking on the Internet and studying nutrition because I wanted to feel better. And my doctor, several doctors, I went to many doctors, they never talked to me about what I eat. Mm -hmm. So I found the um, Institute of Integrative Nutrition and that's where I met Malisha. And I studied nutrition and it helped me really uh implement the changes I, I was looking for. And I started feeling better, but only for a while. So what happened to me was I was one of those people where sometimes food can be medicine and sometimes it can be like poison. So it became quick, quickly apparent to me that when I was eating more vegetables, trying to be healthier, I was getting sicker and sicker. Hmm. So, so if this has happened to anyone, I'm going to explain why that happens. Because I, I was I was confused. I was like, how can this happen? I'm trying to make myself healthier, but I feel worse. And so um, I started, you know, diving more into functional medicine at that point, listening to podcasts and stuff. And what I learned is it was the bacteria in my gut that I had a very unhealthy immune system all those years because of the gut bacteria that I had. And so I, I had did some testing and what I found out is I had some pathogens, some infections, some what, what we call dysbiosis. I had a lot of bad bacteria and it was contributing to making me sick. Now this bacteria, it, it really does control everything we do, our mood, um, our digestion, our hormones, how we feel. And so whenever I addressed that, the gut, that was like the first thing that I addressed. Um, after food, I was able to find my root cause. And that is what I was looking for. And what functional medicine is, is helping people kind of like dump out their health puzzle and go through the pieces and find the root cause, the underlying cause to, you know, why you feel the way you do. And that's what was missing for me is food really helped me. And it, I truly believe, and I use it in my health coaching business to be medicine. But for some people, it's not medicine. Because your, your body's not able to handle certain foods. And that's, you know, where I was. I wasn't able to handle certain foods. And so um, let me think. So I got into more into autoimmunity because I had a lot of autoimmunity issues. I had a condition over 23, uh, well, 8 million women have this autoimmune disorder. It's called interstitial cystitis. It is the bladder is inflamed. And 23 million people have autoimmune disorders and they they um, different um, parts of your body become the victim of an autoimmune disorder. And my particular victim was my bladder. And so you hear of people, you know, having thyroid, Graves, um, Hashimoto's, diabetes, you know, your victim would be the pancreas. And so for me, for interstitial cystitis, it was the bladder. And so one of the myths is, you know, people, and I want to kind of clear up a few myths about autoimmunity is people think you suddenly woke up that way. I suddenly woke up and my bladder hurt and I thought that, but what I learned is it is not a sudden thing that happens. It takes up to 10 years before, you know, if you have an autoimmune disorder and then it takes about three, at least three at, on average of people going to different specialists before they know truly what they have. And then you get a diagnosis, but they don't usually tell you why you have it. Mm -hmm. And that's where functional medicine comes in. You know, is I wanted to know and understand why I have it. And with in functional medicine, we study the interconnection of the body systems and everything is connected. And what I learned is two thirds of your immune system is in your gut. And so it, made, it made so much sense to me. My gosh, I had stomach problems my whole life and I didn't understand the connection with my bladder and my stomach. And the connection was my immune system. And so um, one of the things with the immune system is its job is to tolerate and every day it like surveys and it looks for threats and it does a good job. You know, we have um, protection. We have different um, barriers set up or gut lining and um, and it helps protect us from invaders and things that it sees as threats. But what happens is with time and with an accumulation of threats, it becomes more of the maladaptation of it. 
it can no longer handle the environment that we're asking it to live in. So for me, I was asking my body to live in a really toxic environment, not only toxin from the food, but products and also my thoughts, you know, because your mindset, you know, the, the gut has a second brain, the enteric system. And so how you think, and the doctor had me convinced I will always have the autoimmune system. I mean, I always have the autoimmune disorder that I had. He said, there's no cure. So for a long time, I had no hope that I could get better, and I and that's what I believed. So the more I studied the functional medicine, the more I learned that we can address, boost our immune system and heal our gut lining, and then we can start to feel better. So one of the ways you can do that is um, the little microbes that I was talking about, the little bacteria, is you can have them tested. And there's a test called the GI map. And you can find out if you have any viruses underlying in your body. And what happens is you can have, like for me, I had mono when I was little. And you've heard of Epstein-Barr virus. You've heard of, um, you know, different kinds of, you know, immune viruses. And now we're hearing about the COVID-19. So what happens when you get a virus is it, it stays in your body forever. So when you have it, you know, you have an active virus, you have symptoms. And then... Um, it goes into remission, but at any time a virus can come back. So this GI map can, can look and see if you have any viruses that could be making you sick. It can look and see if you have any infections in your body. And I had infections in my body that um, regular conventional doctors were not able to identify with their testing. So I had some a lot of bad bacteria that this test helped me find. And there's a lot of different tools in functional medicine that we use, and there's a lot of different tests, but I particularly like to use um, the GI map because, because the gut is in the immune system. Starting there is an important first place to start to try to identify, you know, what is, what is going on. And so um, ask me any questions you want to ask. <laughs> well, first of all, let me um, um, welcome some of our visitors today. We have Mark on Data, Tarina, who's one of my clients. Belinda is in Cincinnati. She's been um, uh, a client of mine, Lynette Adams and Danielle. So we welcome all of you today to the show. Um, stay tuned um, and keep watching. Um, I, when you were talking, I was thinking it would be beneficial for more medical doctors to use a functional um, nutrition, a functional nutritional coach to help them so that their patients and clients can understand what's going on in their body. Because a lot of times people get these diagnoses and they become overwhelmed. They don't know what to do with the information that they have gotten. So a lot of times they, they leave the doctor's office. They don't know what's going on. They, and then they're you know trying to Google and trying to find things, you know, to heal themselves. But it would it would be great if doctors had people in their office that kind of can kind of walk people through some of their issues and why they're getting these diseases and how to feel better so that people can do better and not get sicker and sicker and sicker. You had to find all this out mostly by yourself. Wouldn't it have helped you so much if you had had someone to really kind of take you by the hand and help you to help you to figure out what was going on in your body? Yes, definitely. And that's, that's really what I want to do is educate people and, um, we can talk about in a minute, you know, how do you get an autoimmune disorder and what the triggers are and then things you can do to reverse it. But these are these are not things that doctors have time uh, to do. They don't have time to spend the time with their patients. And it's, um, you know, part of it has to do with the insurance and the, the whole health care system. And so um, the functional medicine is um you know, why I was attracted to it was because, you know, finding out for that individual person, and if anyone's listening, that's what's important, is to find out for you what your body needs, because it's not going to be what my body needed to heal. It's very bio-individual. What, mm -hmm. what triggered my autoimmune disorder, and we can talk about triggers in a minute, is not going to be the same that triggers your symptoms if you have an autoimmune disorder. And the doctors, unfortunately, they have kind of a cookie cutter method of helping someone. They give you a diagnosis and then they give you the pill that they know works with that. And right. what that does is it helps you feel better. And I'm not against it in any way. And I'll, I'll admit I was in a lot of medicine myself. 
Mm-hmm. But um, I learned um, it just masks, it masks your the autoimmune disorder that you were diagnosed. You're simply managing it. You're not finding out why you have it and how you can really reverse it. And, and so let me ask you, so why or why does someone get an autoimmune disease? Is it because their their body isn't functioning right or their gut is got all kind of stuff going on? Because you hear of so many functional diseases like um I mean autoimmune diseases like arthritis and lupus and fibromyalgia and I mean the list goes on and on. So this seems like there's an onslaught of a lot of these autoimmune diseases. Are people are they are they really autoimmune? diseases or is it sometimes that doctors don't know what to die how to diagnose so they put you in a category that you have this autoimmune disease so why or how does someone get these autoimmune disorders that's a good question and i'll try to explain it very simply because there's there's three there's really three or four things that cause it in the world of functional medicine they call it a three-legged stool but there's actually a fourth component so how you would how and it takes all three of these things before activation can happen of an autoimmune disorder. So if you have one of these three things, then you're not going to get the activation of the autoimmune disorder. And the first is genetics, which is just, that means you're predisposed. That does not mean you're destined, that that has to be your destiny. So if you have a genetic disposition, Mm -hmm. if you have what's called intestinal permeability. Now I already kind of talked about how important the gut is. Right. It is our barrier. Um, of, think of um, like a, a neighbors and a fence between them to keep maybe a bad neighbor out. It protects mm-hmm. and keeps out the, the things that our immune system recognizes as a threat. And so you have to have a good barrier. The intestinal permeability has to be secure. It has little, um, with the kind of like little feli micro. Yeah. Uh, and what happens, it's already semi permeable, which means. It's got a little bit of a crack so the food can get digested in it. But what happens is tr- different triggers cause this barrier, these tight junctions to get separated and loose. And so what happens is proteins and bacteria and fungus and so forth, they enter through these like little cracks, little openings, and they go into um, the bloodstream. So all of a sudden, if you're eating and let's say you have digestive problems and you're not even breaking down your food and you have these big chunks of food, they are not getting properly digested. They are actually going into the your bloodstream. And this is a threat to the immune system. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. if you have a threat to the immune system, that's the second thing. The, gen- okay. the genetic trigger, the intestinal permeability, which is going to cause this threat to the immune system and then the triggers and we can talk about what those are but the fourth thing in functional medicine that we talk about is that so you have the genetic disposition predisposition you have the intestinal permeability and you have the trigger but you also at that point need to have like the weaker imbalanced immune system and so that imbalanced immune system means it can no longer fight. If you have the intestinal permeability and you have the, des- uh, the predisposition and you have the triggers, it can no longer fight it. Because what's mm-hmm. happened is your body doesn't suddenly just get an autoimmune disorder. It's, every day it's a job your immune system is tolerating and surveying and it's handling these threats. That's, it's designed very well. It's very strong. And so a good immune system is um, relaxed and it's fighting all these things. What happens is it can no longer, it's confused. It's confused by all the threats and it can no longer handle them. And if you, if you add in those three things with the weak and balanced immune system, those four things, then that is where your autoimmune disorder starts. And so it's not, and what happens is the different parts, there's different, there's about 80 to 100 kinds of autoimmune dis- diseases. Um, really? There's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very sad. There's 23 million people today, and it's, go, it's increasing, that are becoming diagnosed from their doctor. Remember, it takes years, up to 10 years for symptoms sometimes. And they're going to the doctor, they're getting diagnosed. And then it's a lot of people, myself included, thought this just happened. No. It takes all those years and those three factors and that immune system that got weakened. And so it really is um, the 
the part that you get, like my bladder was the victim. If you have diabetes, your, your victim is going to be your pancreas. If you mm -hmm. have, let's say you have rheumatoid arthritis, your victim is going to be your joints. The victim can be skin. I had like hives mm -hmm. and people have, I didn't have eczema, but people have eczema. And so I had hives. So the victim with the immune system in that case is going to be the skin, which is, you know, another organ. Do you see, I have a question that somebody posted on the board. Do you think that metabolism testing is helpful or needed? What do you think? Metabolism testing. It would not be one of the tests if you were working, working with a functional practitioner or a naturopath. It would not be uh, one of the more important tests that you would need to get. And so, I mean, a lot of testing can help, but, um, you know, if you have a metabolism pro problem, a lot of times, you know, you're going to have a thyroid problem. Uh -oh. And so that would not be the first testing that, you know, I would suggest No, But all tests mm -hmm. can be helpful. And you do look at the whole picture, the big picture. And so myself, I am trained on reading some different labs now. And to look at a complete blood count, you can get a lot of information off of it. Just from the standard test you get from your doctor when you get your yearly wellness check, I can look on that and see if someone's, you know, digesting foods, if they're lacking some vitamins, if what their white, if their white blood count is showing they have an infection. Because if you have an underlying infection, then your immune system is having to try to deal with that. And so if you're um, eating, a, here's a, here's what we call a perfect storm. If you have like say. This is an example of a person. We'll just make this person up. They have very high stress. They have a very poor diet, meaning they eat a lot of processed food and sugar. They get about five hours of sleep a night and they don't sleep good. They're pre, they're pre genetically disposed or um, their genetics, the people in their family, let's say have RA, rheumatoid arthritis. And they are taking um, antibiotics and they're taking ibuprofen every day. Okay, that's a perfect storm because what happens is that medicine, the ibuprofen and the antibiotics, they're gonna wear and the wear and tear on the gut lining, they're gonna cause that intestinal permeability. Then you've got the genes and then you got the trigger. You've got the food that was poor, the sleep that was poor, all the environmental factors. And let's say they work in a hair salon and so they're exposed to all these chemicals. That's a perfect storm for autoimmunity. It takes all those things, and that's an example of how it is created, some of the triggers. So can you turn around, you know, these autoimmune disorders? Does it take years? I know you said that food didn't do it for you. You know, somebody may want to try different foods or different type of um you know, uh, supplements, like I share a supplement called Pure, and yeah. we have a whole immunity um, um, line, which is great. And I've been using it a lot during this COVID. And so you have supplements out there, we've got food. And so, you know, really under the perfect storm, how long does it take or what do you take to change, you know, your immune system or your or your autoimmune disorder, you know, with supplements, yeah. with, you know, um, and with certain foods. And so as a functional doctor, you figure out what type of foods that is right for us, for that person. So mm -hmm. it's not, not, it's nothing cookie cutter. It yeah. has to be specific bioindividual for you, right? Yes. And to answer your question, it's going to be different for everyone. And here's what through studying and what I found is it's never one root cause. There's always a co-condition. It's usually like sister conditions. Like for myself, I had interstitial cystitis. I had histamine issues. I had mast cell activation. And so um, and I also had, you know, unhealthy infections in my gut. And so all those things together. So how long would it take someone like me? It took. Um, like a year and a half, honestly, because each one of those things has to be addressed. So for, for, to answer your question, it's going to be different. If the person only has one thing, it's, it's, it, let me reword that. It's never going to be just one thing because mm -hmm. it's all the things we just talked about that perfect storm. And so the three-step approach, um, that you, that you take, um, is, in my coaching, I call it maximize, minimize, and prioritize, but to actually make it more practical for somebody, you're going to want to reduce the inflammation, get rid of the triggers. And some of the triggers are like allergens, 
Um, if you have leaky gut, you're going to have food sensitivities. And then every time you eat something and you don't even know it, it's sending your body into your immune system have, is having an inflammatory response. It no longer feels safe. It's like this to, to it, that food that you choose, it can be a healthy food, becomes a foreigner, a foreign invader. So it starts um, tagging it as a threat. So every time a person eats that, you know, that's one of the triggers. So and then another is even emotional stress, physical stress, overwhelm. And this we are all overwhelmed at times, especially with, with what's going on. Overwhelm can be a toxin, mm -hmm. you know, what's in the environment. And then there's something called um, LPS, lipopolysaturates. And that is when you have this bacteria in your gut and you have these unhealthy gut flora, the good and the bad bacteria. And um, some of the bad bacteria actually have, there's there's a negative gram bacteria and a positive gram bacteria. And some of them um, have what's called an endotoxin. They put off a toxin called an LPS. And so when someone has an LPS, that's one of the triggers for autoimmunity. So for myself, when I did my GI map, I had some, a lot of bad bacteria. I had the LPS. I had, um, you have certain amount of, bacteria that live in your gut that are friendly and endemic that always live there. And then you have what they call opportunistic where things can grow and you can have like worms and H. pylori and parasites. And I had a lot of all of that stuff. <laughs> so you can see that that was a threat to my immune system. So you have to reduce the inflammation, the triggers, whether it be food that's causing you, whether it be the bacteria in your gut, you have to heal your gut lining. Mm -hmm. And then what you have to do is prioritize a healing environment. And that's where you really work on it. Like as, as health coaches, where we really help somebody. Priori um, prioritizing means, you know, all the things I just named, getting rid of the triggers and identifying your root cause. But then you work on your sleep and you work on your stress and you work on, you know, your foods. Now, to answer your question about the supplements, I use supplements with people um, to get well, it took supplements for me, but there's never a magical food or a magical supplement or a magical test. It's always a combination. It usually takes, you know, several supplements for somebody. You have to boost your immune system. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're hearing a lot of right now is we don't want an autoimmunity. We want a good, strong, healthy immune system. So keeping your immune system boosted, having the right nutrients. If someone's lacking zinc, vitamin D, um, then they right there or their immune system is already weakened. So that's, right. that's that fourth factor I talked about, the intestinal permeability, the genes, the triggers, and that weak immune system. And yeah, I mean, so we've been hearing a lot about that a weak immune system, especially in the in the wake of this COVID. And I've been hearing a lot about zinc and vitamin D and vitamin C and how important it is to get those in your system. Because unfortunately, you know, this COVID stuff is going to be around for a while. And our weakened immune system, if we don't get it strong, then when the next wave comes around, because it's going to come around again, we're yeah. going to get sick. And so the goal right now is to get our gut strong, to get our sleep, to get our emotions intact, get rid of the inflammation mm -hmm. so that when we get um, invaded or surrounded by um, things that could trigger us so that we are, have a strong system where these triggers don't get in. Am, am I um, that's what I'm hearing. But, you know, my concern is with the COVID that's going on with our COVID-19, COVID you know, how do we get people to not develop um, an autoimmune disease and to help them to um, get um, stronger so that they don't get sick? Mm -hmm. Well, the very things you know, that you share on your that you shared on your show in this group, your podcast, is that. Um, implementing the, the things that um, make you healthier, that foods that are safe to your immune system. That means, and this is what someone has to do when they want to get rid of an autoimmune disorder, is change the environment that created the autoimmune disorder in the first place. So you've got to go and look at the foods that you were eating and change them. So to avoid the virus, you're going to want to eat anti-inflammatory foods that are going to boost your immune system, you know, and like with my clients, I have 
I give them information on, you know, foods that have B vitamins and that have iron and that have zinc and that have magnesium. Look for the properties in foods because food is medicine. And, and I use it as medicine myself every day that are health promoting foods. And then you want to be able to get out of your house when, like right now, things are reopening, the businesses are reopening and not be afraid to get out. So if you're supporting your immune system and you're, you know, you've reduced your inflammation and triggers and you're doing what you can to support, you need to, you do need to support your vitamins and minerals and you need to eat the right foods, then you, and you need to have a positive mindset. You shouldn't be afraid to get back out into the community. If you do have an autoimmune disorder already, if you're working on all these things, it does put you at higher risk to get, to catch something. But if you're working on all these things, um, you can, you know, get, get better. And it does take time. But I don't, if someone does, like my son has an autoimmune disorder and it's, um, not managed very well and that's the other thing is we can have a diagnosis and not manage it well absolutely so um let's say for myself if i if i chose to go back to the lifestyle that i had four years ago the stress and the alcohol and the antibiotics and um all the triggers the toxin and you know the toxin products and everything and, and had all that bad bacteria in my gut i'm gonna get I'm going to get sick again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because the autoimmune goes into remission. You're not cured forever. It can, we just talked about how the, the immune system, what triggers it, it can be re-triggered. You can mm. re reactivate your autoimmune disorder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can reverse it. You can reactivate it. And so, and so the goal would be to stay on your course, stay the course. Yeah. Don't get off the course. I was just talking about one of this to my one of my clients, and I just had to get on her. I'm like, yeah. we've been down that you you should be we you should be further along than to revert because if you revert, then you're gonna go back to having some of the issues that you had before. And I don't want to see you go back there. As she she's been my client long enough that I could just be that frank. But the, you can't go back to your lifestyle right. that you had before. And so the goal is to find a path, stay on that path, get the help that you need. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to stay yeah. sick. If you are sick, you don't have to stay sick. Find solutions, you know, because if you don't, now more than ever as a health coach, I am more determined than ever to get people well and to help people because people are getting sick and dying. And just because, you know, yeah. we see those numbers on um, 51,000, it may not affect you or you may live in a community like here where I am. You don't see that. But those are people. Those are families. Mm -hmm. Those are people that are dying that possibly had some type of autoimmune disease that have underlying factors. A lot of them do not. But yeah. the goal is if you have some issues, autoimmune disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, take care of yourself now, do what it takes so that you don't go down that road. And there are people like me and you that can help you to get well. And, you know, and so use what you can use the approaches. And I love your three step approach to getting rid of your autoimmune disease. It's practical. It's easy. And it, it's a great solution to, to doing it. Yes, it takes Time it takes mindset change. It's not going to happen overnight. People want quick yeah. fixes. Am I right? Yes. And what I can say, and you know, this has been because I have to read a, like a lot of research and studies, and um, I we've actually in school been trained to study out autoimmunity, and to ask clients. So anyone that's listening to this, you know, you you have to understand a twelve month commitment to reverse your autoimmune disorder. And, it, and I would say for me, it took a year and a half because there's so many factors. It's never one root cause. And then there may be times where, you know, like you kind of backtrack a little because we're all human. And so, right. We're take, all human. Yeah. So really allow yourself and have this realistic expectation, because I think if people right away, if you or somebody and I was like this, I wanted to get well right away. Like, what do I need to do next? And it, it's, it's a process and to allow one year at least, at least. And if you go into that with that mindset, I think you'll have get have less discouragement because you have a realistic expectation that it's going to take up to 12 months commitment.
that's why I tell my clients all the time, we're on a journey and the journey is, it takes a commitment, it takes time, but the goal is um, that we're not on a diet. You are on a health journey for the rest of your life. My goal is to help give you the tools that you could be able to do it on your own. I don't want anybody to stand with me forever, not unless you just love me that much. And I don't think anybody, my husband is probably the only person that will stay with me forever. But, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But the goal is to give you the tools that you can do it on yourself. It's yeah. a journey and it takes time and it's a process. Nothing is going to happen overnight. I had someone send me these these, you know, you can lose all this weight, turn everything around in 20 days. It's, you know, it may work, but it's not going to be long term. Yeah. They want to give people solutions that are going to help them long term to get to the health that they want. Yes, I, I have supplements. You share supplements. There are things that you can use, vitamins, minerals, food to turn things around, but it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time. That is true. My, my message that I really want to communicate today, though, is and because this is what we're not getting from the doctors is there is hope no matter what your autoimmune dis diagnosis was. And honestly, it's a label. They they assigned a name to a set of mm -hmm. symptoms. So mm -hmm. maybe shift your mindset to, OK, not this label to shift away from that. of This is imbalances and dysfunctions that are going on in my body. And if I address each imbalance one by one, so I'm balanced, my immune system's healthy and balanced, and my dysfunction becomes functional. This is where functional medicine comes in. And then you are fully optimal, thriving, and not, you know, just um, what I call existing and surviving and feeling, you know, I pretty much like endure days where I was just like, oh, another day, I can't wait till bedtime, you know? It doesn't have to be that way. I like to give people hope because you can be get your systems all back balanced, get your immune system balanced. Um, you know, there's hope. And Malisha and I both, that's what we're doing is educating people, empowering people. And, so, and hopefully you're inspired today. If you didn't know that autoimmunity takes three things and that you can reverse those three things that happened. You really can could reverse it. Um, and some people think that they, they can't, but you really can. You can reverse your health. You can get better. And I like that. You said you can shift things around. There is hope. There is, you don't have to live in despair. You don't have to live like I will never get well because you will. And it takes time. It mm -hmm. takes commitment. It takes consistency. And that's what I see a lot of people. There's no quick fixes. There's no gimmicks. You have to be diligent in your pursuit for wellness. And, and, and if you need help, that's where I come in or Julie come in or any of the other wellness practitioners that I've had on my broadcast. You know, I'm showcasing wellness practitioners from all around the world, all around the country, because all of us do a little bit of something different. But the main goal is to help you and to get better. And if it's not you, then someone you know, share this, share the, the things that you're learning or the things that you've heard with somebody. Somebody needs to hear this, especially in this day and time yeah. with this COVID and stuff going on because there will be another pandemic. There is going to be something else. Mm -hmm. And if you're not um, um, like soldiers girded up, you know, on the inside so that we can, um, um, bum, bum, um, so that when those attacks on the outside come against us, they don't get on the inside. Yeah. So that we are, we're cleansing our body from the inside. One thing about Pure, um, we have a program called Cleanse, Balance, and Build. It's a simple program. It's simple to use. And as you are um, getting your body clean of good foods, you can use supplements to help. And so, you know, this is what it's about. So um, anybody have any questions? Thank you, for Amber, for your questions. Um, we had Rebecca on today. We had um, Pastor Eugene Apostle. Um, Eugene Floyd was on today. Um, my mentor and coach from Pure, um, Abby Lane, was on today. Sharon was on. Um, Dora was on. So we had a nice audience today. Uh, I just wish we got some more questions. Do we have any more questions for Julie before we go? I know this um, was a little in-depth. But go back and listen to it again because Julie shared some great information. One of the things I uh oh okay I couldn't see it went away. But um, 
one of the things that she was said, she said, you can change your environment. You can shift how you think about um, shift um, what um, your insides. You don't have to stay sick. Um, and I like how you talk about that GI map. That, that's yeah. good. That was good stuff. Um, thought of our autoimmune come from genetics. Um, you said intestinal. And, you know, in the common community, in the health community, it's known as leaky gut. The intestinal permeability um, is more, you know, a medical term that even a conventional doctor would use. But it's leaky gut. You've heard that before. Right. OK. So our genetics play a part. We have leaky gut. Um, we have our body is concussed constantly bombarded and threatened. We are triggered by inflammation, the foods we eat, um, our emotions, um, stress, anxiety. Am I getting it right, Julie? I just want yes. to make sure. Yes, you are. <laughs> and remember that it's just the body parts, the victim. It's just the victim because your immune system is threatened. Okay. The immune system is threatened and it's acting like the victim. Like some people act like they're victims, but we don't have to be victims. We can, our body is not a victim. Our body is there to um, gird us up and to help us. And so we have the things that we can do. We have the tools that can turn things around. And basically it starts with our mind first and it starts in our gut and it starts with having an attitude that I, I want to be well and that I don't have to be sick and I can seek out people that can help me. Yes. Preach it. Exactly. <laughs> That's why me and Julie are here to yes. help uh, help you. So tell us a little bit about your practices. Do you have a website, Julie, where people can find you? And I, my name of my practice is Inside Out Wellness because I realize it's an inside out job. And um, juliehager.com is my website. I just kind of switch the name of the website to make it easier because Inside Out Wellness was long. And uh, so juliehager.com on Instagram, it's Ju um, Julie Hager Coach. And on Facebook, it's Julie Hager Health Coach. And so made it really easy. If anyone has any questions about the GI map, um, that that test actually was instrumental on, for my health. It really changed, helped me change my health. It was a life changer for me, a game changer. It, and not everyone needs to have that. It's just a tool I want people to know about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tools. That's the key. Cool. Yeah. Find tools that can help you that are going to turn your life and change your life around. So I appreciate everyone that was on today. This was a great show. Um, I one of the things I hear the theme of all my shows, and I'm going a little longer than I wanted to, but it's okay. Is we're talk a lot of the uh, practitioners we're all talking about gut health, how everything starts in our gut, how our uh, emotions and um, trigger things, how it's important to put the right supplements, the right foods in our body, have the right attitude, and that you can get well. And so this is why I do these shows because I didn't want people to just to hear from me all the time. I wanted them to hear from other people. So you can join my YouTube channel, Malisha Bailey. That's my YouTube channel. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on LinkedIn. Um, and um, you can, you're a part of my Facebook group. So I'm getting ready to start a, a monthly membership, which I'm so excited about. And I'm going to, I'm going to have founding members. The founding members is going to be really, really inexpensive. And so I'm just looking for ways and tools to be able to help you to heal from your autoimmune diseases, heal from inflammation, heal from the food you eat, heal from stinking thinking, and to help you to be better. And Julie, I appreciate you being on today because you have great tools. Julie does something I can't do. Julie can really get in the nuts and bolts and help you. So if you really need that um, extra help, I started to go that way and I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I thought I looked at functional medicine, but I'm like, no, no, I don't want to do that. And I also work here locally here in Springfield. I have a, I work in collaboration with a, um, a naturopathic doctor and we have a, a wellness practitioner, a wellness practice called Mana Healing and Wholeness. If you want some information about that, where you can get some help locally here in Springfield from amazing 
Christian practitioners that are going to help get you on the road to hell. I have those solution here. I have a lot of solutions. I don't have enough time to talk about everything, but I'm going to give do a shout out to Amanda Sneed. She is our founder of Mana Hill. Men, um, Mana Healing and Wholeness here in Springfield, Missouri, that can help you. We're working to get our um, business online as well, too, as a lot of people are. So, Julie, Inside Out Wellness, thank you for being on. Julie, stay on. We're going to end this okay. broadcast. Julie, don't leave. Okay. Um, we're going to end this broadcast. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And if you have any other questions, Julie is a part of the um, Love for Life page. You can ask questions there when you go back and look at the replay. Let me know um, that you've looked at the replay and, and ask any questions there. Okay. So take care. Have a wonderful week. God bless everybody. Take care.